sit on the pillow. Okay, sit on the pillow. All right. Say welcome to the Joyful Plant Club. All right, good job. No, no, Papa. Papa, come on. This is what life has become. Okay. All right, you want to talk? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Welcome to the Joyful Plant Club. My name is Ashley, and this is Liam. And we want to show you our greenhouse. Our new greenhouse that we love. All right, so I recorded the setup video a few days ago. I've had the greenhouse set up now for about six, seven days um, just to see how the plants would adjust and what I liked, what I didn't like, and I want to share that with all of you guys. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the setup. It was really easy, and uh, yeah, here we go. Olas. Um, so it's all set up now. I have the lights installed So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, just how I put together everything um, Show you a little bit more about how it's put together and then I'm going to put my plants in it It has four shelves all the way to the bottom um, This plastic covering is completely encased at the top and then at the bottoms. It's kind of nice it has these little flaps that kind of seal to the floor. Um, you see it better. Gosh, don't look at my dirty floor, okay? Um, and then it ties to each side of the, every corner. Um, and so that way it kind of keeps in as much as possible. So that's kind of cool. And these lights came with a double-sided adhesive strip that is actually a lot stronger than I thought, but I still went ahead and put, um, let me zoom in here for you guys. I still went ahead and attached some fishing line on each side because, let's get in here, as you guys can see, there's two little spaces if you wanted to like screw these into something like a shelf or whatever, there are those two little eyelets. So I just use fishing line to 
to uh, give it some added security. Okay, so there's one light and I did just install it in the middle bar. You can see this one a little better. There's the other shelf. And the very top one, the very top one is installed right across the front middle here. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, there's the top row. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what happens, ready? Who wants to go to their new home? What do you think, Papa? Wow! All right, so that was our greenhouse setup. It was pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, now I'm going to go over a few things that I think are important to mention if you're interested in getting a greenhouse and uh, stuff just to keep in mind. So, um, number one, you're probably going to need to get grow lights um, if you're not placing this like in a direct light situation, which you probably don't want to do. Um, so grow lights are going to be beneficial. I ordered some off Amazon and they were three LED strips, 30 bucks, um, and they mounted pretty easily as you guys saw. Um, and they've done a good job. There is a timer that is built in um, that I have not set up yet, so I'm curious to see how that works. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things from those specific grow lights, and they are full spectrum, even though they're white. Um, as long as they are full spectrum, then they give you um, everything that you need for your plants to be happy. Um, number two would be one of these handy dandy little temp gauges. And I actually bought the same exact temp gauge um, and also tracks humidity there at the top for our son when we had him as a newborn. We were in a really small apartment that was really kind of like musty and I was so concerned about his temperature near his crib and everything like that. So that's what I originally bought this for. So the reason why you might want to have one of these temperature thingy me bobbies for your plants is it is useful to know the humidity um, in your area whether you're using a greenhouse or not um, wherever your plants are being kept it's useful to know that information um, so you know you know more about your environment what makes your plants happy do you have a plant like a calathea that needs more humidity or do you have something that really doesn't mind having low humidity um, it is important to know those things about your plants environment so you can give them the best place to grow um, and so this also lets you see the temperature of where they are um, and generally you know we keep our houses a fairly cool like nice temp but some plants do like it to be warmer some don't mind the cold um, so again it depends on where it is in your home near a window might be a little cooler or maybe even more drafty than it would be you know on a certain shelf whatever so um, that little guy will be linked um, by the way, all products that I'm talking about are not sponsored. This is just me talking about stuff that I use and love. And uh, yeah, so all links will be in the description box below for you guys. Anyway, so the greenhouse I have noticed stays around 95% humidity when it's completely closed up. Um, and I have been opening it once a day at least for like 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes even more. Um, and I don't really mean to leave it that long, but. The reason I do that is to help with air circulation. Air circulation is good for plants, um, just to prevent mold, pests, um, like it's just good for them to breathe, it helps the soil dry out, not sit around and stay, stay stagnant. Um, and so air circulation is an important part of a plant's life, <laughs> um, but you don't want too much because a drafty area could also dry them out too fast and make them unhappy but air circulation would be great in a greenhouse um, and it is needed so this is the little fan <laughs> again we got it for my son um, for his car seat that he used to use all the time um, and it is a USB um, in the back and I have not found the cord to it I lost it don't know where it went but I'm gonna find it so then I can plug it into the wall and turn this baby on for a little while throughout the day um, and that will just help keep the airflow in there without losing that humidity because when I open that door during the daytime to kind of let some air in it lets out all the humidity and it goes back down to like 50 60 and then it'll build back up to 90 um, within a few hours but air circulation is important 
So all in all, so far, about a week into this greenhouse journey, I'm really happy with this specific greenhouse. Um, it was really low cost. Um, it didn't cost me a giant chunk of change. I mean, you can tell that it's, you know, not an expensive, like, super fancy greenhouse or anything, but it gets the job done exactly what I needed it to do. And, um, yeah, I love it so far. So, I'll show you guys how I put my plants in. Okay, so here she is in the corner where I've set her up. Um, so she unzips here at the bottom on both sides. And you could roll this up and tie it up with these fancy little strings there, but I'm just going to throw it over the top for today's purposes. I'll start here at the bottom because it's the most boring. Uh, my son already knocked down my little moonshine Sansevieria there, made a mess, haven't cleaned it up yet, you know. Um, so here's some little Sansevieria on the very bottom. These are the only little guys that would fit down here in this little space. Um, so they're just kind of in there, just chilling. My second, or technically third shelf. First, I have my little Hoya Compacta here, and this is actually a rehab that I got from my friend. And you can see it's been losing some leaves there. Um, and actually was really unhappy when I first got it, and it stayed that way, but it is slowly coming back. Um, it was not happy there for a while, but it seems to be a lot happier in this greenhouse, so I think it is really enjoying this humidity. All right, my little Adansonia cutting. I love this little cute little cutting <laughs> that I got from a friend. And it actually was really droopy in my bathroom. Like no matter what I did, it was just real droopy. It does have roots, it's rooted um, in the soil there. But since I put it in here, it has perked up majorly. Like this leaf is like horizontal, leaning up toward those grow lights. There's my strip right here. Next to my Adansonia, I have my little Ficus Elastica. This is a burgundy that I got from a friend of mine. Again, a little rehab plant. This guy actually had spider mites when I got him and he has since recovered. He went in isolation. I did the whole treatment, everything like that. You can still see um, all the signs, yeah. all the signs that he did have um, pests and everything and that is permanent damage. But he just now put out this shiny new leaf, which I'm so excited. Um, and he also fought mealybugs, which he caught from another plant of mine that I brought home with pests. So he's like a fighter, man. I'm like really proud of that little guy. This is a ficus Daniela, and she has another name, which I always forget. I'll put it here on the screen. But um, she seems to be doing well. She did lose some leaves in the beginning because I think she wasn't used to being watered so much. So like this little stalk right here. Lost a lot of leaves, but she seems to be doing happy and she does have some new growth coming in. And I just think she's so cute. Okay, moving up to my second shelf here. This is a lot of my propagations. So here in the corner, I have some string of hearts that I did or that I got in a plant trade with a friend. And they are rooting really nicely and they got some new growth there. I'm actually doing a propagation video on these guys, so you guys are going to have that probably in a few weeks when they're completely like done rooting, but I am really excited over their progress and they do seem to like it in here. Over here is my variegated, um, gosh I cannot speak, my little variegated um, heart leaf philodendron, there we go, and some sphagnum and he is rooting in there real nicely. And this is my burl marks that I just got from a plant swap and he is rooting in some Lekka, and actually you can see his roots coming through. There's one. So excited about that guy, he's really pretty. This is a succulent that is gonna be a gift for somebody special, and I'm just holding on to it. Here is also um, a philodendron Rio Sport that I also got in the plant swap. It is rooting in some sphagnum. And then here's a super tiny Hoya Lacunosa cutting that I'm probably gonna give to somebody. Um, and he's just so tiny and cute. Here is my prayer plant who is putting out all sorts of new growth since he's been in here. He really is enjoying this greenhouse and this dude is just such a champ. I started him out as just a little cutting last year and he's just exploded. 
Back there is my Calathea Freddy, which I am actually using in a giveaway, and I'm gonna mail him out next week to his new home. So that's super exciting. All right, moving on to the top shelf. Here is my little baby Birkin. This was a four inch Birkin that I got from Gabriella's, or Gabriella Plants, I always say that wrong. Gabriella Plants, and it also is really enjoying this greenhouse, no doubt. Here is my little Alocasia Grey Dragon, or Alocasia Maharani. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, I really hope so. Um, and he seems to be liking it. He does not, he has a new baby I can feel like deep down in here that is eventually gonna grow, but <laughs> he's taking his time. But he's happy and cute. All right, here is my Vicky Vicky I always say that incorrectly, I feel like, and I feel guilty every single time because um, he's just so beautiful. This is his newest leaf. He does have another new leaf coming through. So exciting. But he's just gorgeous and he's definitely loving it in here. This is my variegated Alocasia Polly, which I got from Plants and Pamperin. Um, such a cute guy. I love him. And he has some new growth happening. Not sure what's really going on. There's like two little nubs coming up. I don't know if that's two leaves or what, but I'm pretty excited. And then over here is my little baby, Black Velvet. Has two little leaves, so, so cute. And um, there is some new growth that is coming up right behind this leaf. He's just so beautiful and he's definitely loving this greenhouse. So see, since I opened it, it already went down to 70 and we started out at like 95, 96, but I mean 70 still is great. So anyways, yeah. Um. I did not put them like any rhyme or reason in here. I just kind of put them like, you know, my kind of more important ones up there. Propagations are kind of down here and here's just some random like rehab type plants. And then my sansevieria just stuck them down there. But yeah. One thing I forgot to mention um, that I get asked a lot is how often do you keep the grow lights on? And I usually turn them on when I first wake up in the morning. So anywhere from like seven to 8 a.m. And then I turn them off like 9 to 10 p.m. So pretty much they're on as long as I'm awake. Um, and they've done well that way. Um, there is some sun stress that your plants can get from getting too much light, but I have not experienced that yet. So I'll keep you guys updated on how this journey goes. But I am loving this greenhouse so far. And yeah, thank you guys for tagging along. All right, you guys, that concludes my little greenhouse tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or you just want to chat, um, just comment down below or you can message me on Instagram as well. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.